Bubu here. Welcome to my channel. Happy to see you. Hey friends, good to see you all. Today let's explore a noisy world of noise pollution. So, what is noise pollution? It is, well, sound is everywhere around us. From the alarm clock ring, from the cooker sound in the kitchen and we go for breakfast, the school bus honking and the school and the school bell ringing and, and so many and just so many other sounds around, uh, around us. As we are so lucky to hear these sounds, these are very important and necessary sounds in our daily lives. But because you know that Sometimes these sounds will reach to a level that is too high or too long um, and that becomes noise pollution. Like other pollutions like water pollution, air pollution, land pollution, those noise we can see with our eyes but um, noise pollution it's completely invisible to our eyes so we can't see it, but still it will be very, very, very dangerous. Uh, there are two types of noise pollution. Man-made noise pollution and natural noise pollution. When we are talking about natural noise pollution, it's all like, let me think, volcanoes erupting and um, tsunamis, cyclones, hurricanes, thunderstorms. Um, shoutings and all these are all types of natural noise pollution and man-made noise pollution it is like loud music in rock concerts it's all construction workings so many noise pollutions and all in factories going around this is man-made noise pollution and what kind of noise pollution is infecting the earth much more is man-made and now let's talk about the causes effects and ways to reduce it guys now the question is does sound really affect our health yes human ears are designed to hear only one decibel of sound but if it goes it was to 85 or beyond 85, we lose our hearing and we become deaf. But there is also other problems. There is trouble sleeping, stress, and also heart failure. How scary is that? Now I'm going to talk about how noise pollution is impacting the birds. They chirp, chirp, chirp to communicate to each other, but the noise pollution, it is, is like drowning their voices down. So it makes a big stress in their mind and they stop communicating to each other. Uh, and there's one and there's one more thing, in, when they sleep, usually they wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning, but uh, because of noise pollution and <coughs> around in the mornings and all, they are waking up in 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning too early because that time they will all be sleeping, right? So there will be no noise pollution. That is why they wake up too early and it's impacting their health and they die so quickly. That is how noise pollution is affecting the birds. Too bad and very sad. Now I'm going to talk about frogs. Have you guys ever heard about tree frogs? Um, well, they're getting extinct by now because of the noise pollution and like construction and working where cutting all the trees down in the forest. And that takes a lot of and yes the traffic and that's what I'm going to say. That makes a lot of noise and the survival of tree frogs being 
threatened by the increased noise pollution. And did you guys know that noise pollution is not only affecting us, it is also affecting the sea life. Marine scientists have found that all oil drills and submarines underwater are making so much noise and making it creates noise pollution underwater and it's affecting the sea creatures. And we know so many aquatic animals like sharks, whales, dolphins. Well, they use echolocation to find food, protect them themselves from danger, communicate to each other. This is all becoming difficult because of noise pollution. The sound waves they are using are getting mixed up and so many times they are ending up dead. Now that we know about noise pollution, let's try to take some steps to reduce it. Make sure you keep the volume of your TV audible only enough for you and not your neighbors. Also, ask your parents not to unnecessarily harm in front of quiet places like schools or hospitals. And also I have a little piece of advice for all my friends watching this video. Please don't put your headphones on your ears for too long and then it will damage your eardrums and you might lose your hearing. And these little steps will totally help the noise pollution to reduce and make our environment a peaceful and better place. came to the end of my presentation I hope you all enjoyed it I told you whatever I know about noise pollution I hope it was very informative thank you and make sure not to noise pollute the earth this is Buddha signing off here guys subscribe to my channel and please show me some love bye